this is getting emotional. Is, that, yeah, it's yeah, I actually Aww. am getting emotional. <laughs> actually <laughs> that. Yeah, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, whatever. You stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I know. Guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back with another video. Yes. So a happy one. A happy video. A happy video. A very happy video. So guys, if you all don't know, this month is our one year anniversary. I mean, uh, where I, I made it. We, oh. we didn't made it, babe. Although we made it. We made it. Almost. It's survived. not yet. We're, it's, Sorry. It's not. We, I survived a year with this crazy girl. Babe, don't be mean. Be nice to me. I mean, like, it's not yet. Our anniversary is actually on the... It's next week. No, no. It's, it's in two weeks. In two weeks. It's two weeks. It's 21st huh. of so May. So we're not there yet. No, but this is just basically like things we can already share before then. So we're going to be actually shooting two videos in a row today. We're shooting two series of videos. Right now, is like you already read in the the title of the video is Why did you marry me? So okay. it's basically we're going to be asking each other a series of questions. It's a very short video. My, I think minimum three or four questions each. And we both are gonna answer it as honest as possible, and yeah, okay, with experiences that we've like experienced in this whole. In the second video, thing, yeah. In the second video, it's basically we're gonna be sharing our um, what we've learned being married for one year, our ups and down, the positive and the negative, and the how do you say like for beta bund. Improvement? Improvement. Promise? Improvement that we will like kind of set for our second year. So okay. that's gonna be like our next interesting our next video for next week. So today let's just start off with this video. My All first right. question here says yes, miss. What do I do that annoys you? The whole list? <laughs> Seriously, guys, <laughs> this is what I had to do it for my year. Like, okay, okay. So you want me to know? You want to know what, what I think? Your, you. Yeah. Okay. The most thing that the the one thing that annoys you the most, since you have a big list, like which one is on on top? On top. You can be honest, babe. Okay. Let me let me get let me let me think about it for one second. What annoys me the most? Yep. You don't annoy me. Search, search. You don't annoy me. I don't? No. She doesn't annoy me. Seriously? No. You always tell me, why do I know it and you don't know? You told me like I never, Maybe ever, you, should, you, you should answer the question. What, what do I complain about most about? But the thing you complain about, about the most is the fact that I never clean after myself. Right? <laughs> what do you mean? After your whole body? <laughs> You don't clean after yourself. We can't even have a serious conversation <laughs> with this man. I mean, like you told me, I make a mess, like oh, in the room. Yeah, like in our oh, space, like yeah. Like so you, you, okay, guys. So when I met her, um, you know what people meet each other in the beginning, they tend to oversell themselves a little bit, <laughs> right? So she <laughs> overselled herself a little bit on that point. So I actually wanted to know what kind of girl she was because I wanted to figure out like is she like tidy or is she not. So I asked her in the beginning when I met her like ah, I can't stand those girls that let everything sloppy and everything messy. It's like I don't like them too. They're so ew, nasty. They're like nasty. I and I'm like I'm not like that. My mom taught me well. I and I clean my mom's house twice a day. And I keep everything so tidy whitey. And everything is like wow. I was like thinking great. I never have to worry about cleaning again in my life. But. But. Basically, Joseph does all the house chores. Basically, I'm screwed. <laughs> she got sloppy. <laughs> she got sloppy. What do you mean? You got sloppy. Okay, guys. She I spoiled. I'm I spoiled her because I probably see things before she does, and I don't even give her a chance. Give her the chance to clean. That's the problem. That is the problem. He's such a neat freak. Like, 
he doesn't give me the chance to do it first before he already starts complaining and he already does it if someone keeps doing it before you even get the chance to do it then you're not used to doing it then you're not doing it fast enough well i think well he complains about it a lot i thought that was something you would say when i ask you that question but i feel like that's why i got married to you because because what Cause anyways this problem is easily fixed because he's amazing We'll get it made. <laughs> Another topic, guys. Another topic. Another guys, topic. What is your favorite thing imperfection about me? What's my favorite thing slash imperfection about you? Mm -hmm. Favorite thing about you. Let me see. My favorite thing about you is that he pays attention to the smallest things in life like seriously like yeah hmm. like yeah okay explain like some like some well, like when like just for example gift wise right mm -hmm. like when i think about gift for him i'm always thinking about like big things and like i don't know what to get him because he likes fancy stuff and i'm always worried to like um what i'm gonna get him that's gonna fit his style but he on the other hand would rather want me to give him a flower that i plucked from the garden or something really something that is really little for him is more about the thought behind things than the actual things itself and that's why i really, really like him about that because he does like the most amazing things but they're not necessarily like the biggest things in life if you understand what i mean yeah, right that's something you do okay. a lot and that's something that i'm different being in. attentive yeah he's very attentive to like the little little things and thank you yes baby and imperfection hmm. let me see okay guys okay it's not really like imperfection something it's just basically like when you're in a relationship you would think or a relationship with a black girl for that matter <laughs> you would think that I am the one that takes the longest time dressing up or even like like the time to dress up and leave the house it's just crazy with this man here you know like he's done and I'm outside waiting for like 20 minutes and then he's like oh I have to pee and then he goes to pee <laughs> I always pee before and then I go. He, every time eh? and then he goes to pee and then when he's back when he's downstairs like oh I have to drink water and then he goes to the kitchen and drink water and then he comes as like go out prepared uh, where is the car keys and it goes on and on for like 20 minutes every single time before we leave so that's something that i really hate like and then he, but the funny thing is that he calls me downstairs and tell me he's waiting for me and then when <laughs> yes babe that's what you do he calls me downstairs and tell me he's waiting for me and then when I get downstairs I wait for 20 minutes for him <laughs> to do all his ritual stuff before he leaves the house and trust me guys he does every like he does that every single time before he leaves but I think he got it from his mom because his mom does the same thing as well I think so I think so they're both like they're both like twins those two both of them so that's like something I hate like I just I it, hate. I, it annoys me yeah, like annoys you yeah all right that's such a good question what oh, what's your greatest fear of being in this marriage getting some heavy questions we're getting here. guys well one year like we need to dip we need to dig deep, deep oh okay kind of has to do with the other topic as well being attentive mm. I tend to forget my own needs and because you kind of like okay with that I'm scared in this marriage that I forget to go find my passions because yeah. I'm supportive of hers and I forget to give time to myself to develop myself yeah I think that's my biggest fear really yeah but I, I think I th but it's not a bad thing it's just yeah. that I spend so much time in other people yeah I spend so much time in peop other people and, and getting the current situation done and making sure that she's successful what she does and looking after her I like I like I love taking care of people 
Mm. I think I got that from my uh, from my mom. She's a very uh, caring person, so I love to care about her. I love it. Um, I don't mind doing that, but yeah, for a lot of people who care about other people, they forgot to care about themselves sometimes. Yeah, that's it. I guess. I think I think you see, but it's good to share that with me because I wouldn't know. This is so. I love this kind of videos. Now we have to work towards finding your your passion like what you really want and we both can work towards it because this man is very supportive of everything that i do he would go like heaven and earth to like make sure that i get whatever vision that i have in my head so it's good that you're telling me this because we're gonna work i do feel like my biggest fear of being in this marriage i think is us being separated mm. like of what no no of course I don't want to separate. <laughs> Why do you want to separate? No, we have, I'm just saying, like, we're not like, I'm just not like separation, like separation, like things happen, God forbid, and that's something like in the back of your mind, like you pray, like because obviously you get married. You hope to, like, it won't happen. Which hope it won't, ma it won't happen, but you're like, it's a, it's something that you like. God forbid, one of us, God, just we don't even gonna say, but. Just us not being together is something that, of course, that that it's like inside of me that I don't even like thinking about. That's like my fear of being in this okay. marriage. You don't need to fear with that. We're in for the long run. Why are like pouring out out today, guys? Like she this. She is. She's getting emotional. Is, like, yeah, it's yeah. I actually oh, am getting emotional. I can actually. see that. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, whatever. You stuck with me <laughs> yeah trust me i know so <laughs> no separation we don't know the word separate no we're not it does not in our vocabulary it does not exist but it's just good to like know that we have to do everything that in our power to make that never to be the case now that you had before we got married what do i miss well, I miss my name. Just joking. Really? Really, people? <laughs> well, I feel like what is different, what is different from me being uh, not married to you and now is just the fact that everything is so official now. Like, I'm someone's his wife and like, and everything is registered and I cannot just do, go do something. Sometimes I cannot just go do something without him, without people, without are people asking about him or his signature or whatever so that's like something that I that is different and I need to get used to like oh I cannot just go and do that I need to like bring him with me because without his concern I, I can't do it so but not big change not really not like a big, big change, change because we've been together with me like I yeah. said we've been living together for like a long time but like the official the officialness does that mean yeah. like yeah, 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 I get it. like it's now official and things need to be done officially that's the part that i like oh yeah of course we didn't know. change our lifestyle no not really we respect still... each other before and yeah. respect each other now now so all right now. so yes the final question is actually the title of this video which is why did you get married to me because you learn me Cause I'm pretty. Also. Cause I'm amazing. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. You Enough with the mood, good you eat. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. Why did I get married to you? Um. There's only one big reason, one main reason, and that's your heart, right? I know that what you showed me is that you are a good person. Yeah. Good intentions true and just an honest person and you know of course you're pretty and everything and, and we got along well and it clicked those are all good and nice but the most important thing for me is just to see if you're if you're a good person or not mm -hmm. and you are you genuinely came over to me as a person that is straight you know well, uh, amongst all these people that are crooked and everything yeah. you cared about me and 
you were honest and your love seemed honest and it just felt right. Oh, talk to me, baby. Oh my god. And she's getting big head. Continue, honey. She likes this stuff, right? No, I think he's sweet, but yeah. I think. If that, is that you done? Is that your yeah. question? Okay, I think I'm gonna answer it. I think I got married. I, I think I decided to marry you because I. I don't know I, I I did see you I did see us being old together oh. and be great well, we are great already yeah <laughs> you guys that and, and you know and just being there for each other and I saw you as a person that that I could that I could have be beside me during difficult times and also somebody that I could have beside me when we having the most amazing time of our lives Aww. and yeah it was it, it wasn't like it wasn't it just happened like the decision to get married was just like you know what it's so natural it came so natural it wasn't like a huge pressure or something like when because yeah, we live together and when you live together you kind of see things and you kind of feel things and Living together for three years kind of gave me that that okay this is definitely somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with somebody that I see that I can spend the rest of my life with. Mm. So I guess that's mm. this video is way too this video okay. is way too mushy like <laughs> sorry guys seriously but it's good I feel like is in the is in the whole sense of us of our anniversary month so yeah. it's good. But yeah, that's uh, that's bye. We're still a little bit of a honeymoon blues, I guess, I guess. After a year. Yeah, guys. So that's the video for today. We didn't want to make it too long, but we just wanted to like share. I, I think we did answer these questions pretty good and pretty yeah. honest. What did you guys think? I think we did good. But anyways, um, we're going to see you guys in our next video. Make sure to like, share, and if you watch to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed subscribe for subscribe. more videos from us make sure to turn on your notification notification so you don't miss any videos from us i think yeah yeah i think that's it part two of the anniversary month will be up next week thank you guys so so much and we'll see you guys in our next video see you bye, bye, -bye.